Hey guys, what's going on? My name's Tyler, and this is a video about how to glitch turrets, pretty much line of sight them, using a magma saw. So if you guys still recall, like, months ago when magma saw first released, you can actually shoot a lava rock directly at a tower and it will just damage it because um, the turret doesn't shoot the rock. But then that got patched and then turret become uh, conscious of the rock pretty much and then they'll shoot it because that was like actually destroying a lot of bases. But then wildcard figured out that people could like soak bases insanely fast because a single lava rock will like break off into like 20 fragments or something and turret will drain insanely fast by shooting that so wildcard patched that and then turret right now no longer shoot the um, shot that come out from the actual lava rock but you know wildcard's pretty low iq and actually didn't think about the consequence of patching that so today I'll be teaching you how to use the the shards that come out from the actual lava rock to damage the turret by line of sighting it. On screen right now you can see that if you shoot a lava rock directly at the tower it'll just get shot by a turret and explode in midair. It's pretty much exactly like how a rocket would work. So you can't aim it directly at the tower but there's a way to uh, go around it. What you want to do is you want to aim the rock to the ground. So the shards that break off from the rock will actually bounce down towards the tower. This method works for any tower that has like a cliff above it. It can be natural terrain, it can be built pretty much as long as there's something that's blocking the turret that's above it, it works. It can be pretty high up, it can be extremely close, it doesn't matter. As long as it's above it, it works. So as you can see right now on screen, you can pretty much just shoot at it continuously with absolutely no risk whatsoever. The turret does not hit you and yeah, it's pretty brain dead if you ask me. It takes one metal ingot per shot so it's not like you're losing anything. That's like one anky swing and you can like have enough ingot to drop a tower pretty much. This method works because the turret doesn't shoot the shot that explodes from the rock. So when you aim the rock down to the ground and it explodes above the turret and then the shards rain down towards the turret, the turret doesn't shoot it, but the shards can actually damage the turret and deals a pretty significant damage to the structure itself. It takes like a hundred ingots pretty much to like drop a hatch frame or something and it's really really worth it since there's no risk involved in it. You literally sit above the tower, rain shards down and that's pretty much free ammo for you. It's pretty worth it to actually go around the um, ledge above the turret if you have space and try out different spots because as soon as you get like one good spot you can pretty much guarantee continuous hit so as long as you get that spot then you can pretty much drop that power pretty fast so just try around different spots and find the spot that does the most damage I guess. So another thing you might want to keep in mind is the food drain. Although it doesn't drain that crazy, if you're continuously shooting uh, rocks, it does drain pretty fast. Like, you don't need anything special, just remember to bring some meat on you when you go on a journey to drop towers, so you don't like finish midway and suddenly run out of food and you can't shoot. Because it's pretty weird, when you run out of food, it says you run out of ingots when you still have ingots in your inventory. It's like another visual glitch, I guess, but yeah, you need food in order to shoot the uh, lava rock. Structures are looking pretty black right now, so I think it should almost drop. I think it actually dropped. Yep, there we go. It took me about, I say, 20 ish minutes to drop this. And I was also alone, so if you bring a mate boost and if it's imprinted to you, it's even better. And if it, of course, if it's leveled up in melee. But yeah, um, this is really easy and also really cheap. I use around 120 ingots for that one tower which is completely worth it. Normal towers like slot cap with ammo especially on official servers so this will be free profit for you pretty much. So this is the end of the tutorial but just before I end the video there's something in this video that is inconsistent with official. It's not a GCM it's a single player bug and I try fixing it but I couldn't. Comment below if you actually noticed what it is I'm pretty curious to see how many people actually saw it. 
But with that being said, if you liked the video, be sure to leave a like. If you want to see more of these content, remember to subscribe. And I'll see you all legends in the next one. Peace out.